okay greetings dear friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be looking at something new and if you subscribe let's to subscribe because this is the continuation as usual in our last video we looked at um, the hybrid topology in this new video we are going to look at the default DC from at easy supply RMS and so from this simulation we have an output of 54 volt yeah maybe an error of 1 volt so let's get started and see how we are going to design this ok let's open our second over here now at the input we are going to make it as AC so let's take this sign After which we make use of this own bridge rectifier. That's the second bridge. So we rectifier for converting from AC to DC. Down for the full bridge rectifier here, the input AC. That's how it's top. Okay, now we are going to make use of a capacitor for the filtering of our DC output to avoid ripples. We say capacitor, let's try to size some primitive capacitor that is not limitation. Okay, now we got this. Now for a full bridge, here's the positive side, that's where the tails are getting together. We connect it to our capacitor with level. And here is the negative side, we connect it to our capacitor Okay, basically the way I have this topology here works. Sorry, we looked at uh, half bridge topology last time. The way full bridge topology here works, it makes use of a transformer with single winding at the primary and at the secondary, where to obtain the analog signal going into its input, we are going to make it of a set that is single method, unlike in the half bridge topology. So for that, we make it of an end channel method. That's it you need. Okay, now for the supply going to our uh, transformer, we are going to switch it on and off so that we give us an analog signal of the peak value that the value after this capacitor that will be 310 volt. So we'll be switching between 310 volt and uh, basically 0 volt. So that will be another signal going to our transformer. Then we have a step down, maybe corresponding to what we want in our situation. We want it to be 4 volts, so that will be a 12.55 10 ratio. Okay, great. Now for the switching of our MOSFET, we basically need this of The pearl signal that is going to provide the PWM for so the switching on and off of our MOSFET. And as I mentioned in my last video, you need to make sure you know your MOSFET. They need at least a gate voltage of about 10 to 20 volts before you're able to switch. So you make sure you precise that. Then you come at the level of the switching frequency, we are still going to make it 100 kilohertz. Sorry, that's one, that's three. Yeah, 100 kilohertz and say okay. Okay, that's it. Everything done and uh, we get to connect our output at this output we are going to have um, a peak voltage say of 24 volt and lower voltage of 0 volt that will be the new technology so we are going to make use of a single diode to rectify that out so let's simply just use the diode and we say enter ok we place this diode at the output to rectify this DC in one direction that will be the DM. And uh, added to it now we can put an inductor and a capacitor for the filter. But we are just going to make use of the say for the capacitor. We are just going to make use of um, the capacitor for the filter and the output. Okay great. At this point in time, our half-bridge technology setting is 
story again about that. Uh, our flyback topology circuit is completely designed, and we can just attach our voltmeters. Our voltmeters. Okay, if you notice in the design I initially showed before we got here, we have an extra circuit. This circuit here comes in play to provide the minimum functionality for our transformer. That is where it needs to be charged before the transformer can be react. So the snowball security is level for the resistor. So we are going to put a resistor in parallel with the capacitor. Here the capacitor. Capacitor, let's set it a uh, capacitor to 10 microfarad. And we see, okay. And um, to avoid a um, reverse DC voltage, we are going to make it of the diode at this position. So we connect this here. We get this position. Okay, basically everything is done. Let me just put the gold metal the level of my MOSFET so that we will be able to connect the switching. And right now, let me try to refresh my circuit to the ground. You get one here and one at this position. Generally, that is it. For the field trigger, the AC, DC, to avoid the ripples, we are going to make it to 470 microfarad for it to be really perfectly. And the DC I supply, an amplitude of 312, that's equivalent to about 220 square. And it's just to help the price. That's how we have our support in our system. Um, you get to see this. Okay. If you get to notice, the output gives us actually what we need. That is um, in 4.2. It means an error of um, 0.2. And basically, that is how you get to design the flyback transformer. Buried in Proteus or in uh, physical implementation. In physical implementation, you need to make sure you respect your uh, component sizing. And to actually play with the output voltage, you need to play with the turn ratio of your transformer. Here, yeah, right now, we're going to obtain about 30 something volts. Yeah, that's 30.4. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video where we are actually going to implement a controller to maintain its output voltage at the standard value in respect to the So make sure you subscribe not to miss anything in the upcoming video. Ciao.